Everything you do, everything you read, every transaction you make, in our modern age, almost everything is being recorded, stored, and mined for even the smallest detail of your life. But is there a solution on the horizon? I'm Forecast Justin Solomon, and this is The Great Disruption. From banking, to how you vote, to what you buy and who you're friends with, it's all being recorded, one line of data at a time, whether you like it or not. For whatever reason, we all seem to have just accepted that banks turn over our financial transactions to the government without a warrant and mass in, ma- in, in, in a system of mass surveillance. Um, and, and in my view, that is actually unconstitutional. Some experts refer to this as financial surveillance. And there's a great book from uh, uh, Susanna. It was uh, Surveillance Capitalism. And the book really goes into detail about how that economy has emerged and the consequences of that. Uh, and there's not much you can do with these large services to shield yourself because data collection occurs in almost every level of the infrastructure where there's 10 spies on you. All right, so we get it. Our data could be vulnerable in the current system. So now what? Enter blockchain and the underlying technology behind cryptocurrencies. And something called Zero Knowledge Proofs, or ZKP for short. ZKP enables one party to prove to another that a certain statement is true without providing any information about the statement. So how does this work? Say you walk into a bank and you want a small loan. Before you can be approved, that bank would need to verify some information to prove you are who you say you are. You would need to prove things like your employment history, proof of income, proof of residency even. The concept of ZKP is that you don't need to share any of that personal information and the banker will still have proof you are who you say you are. How does it work? First, you have to create indirect proof that your statements are true. And if that indirect proof is true, then so are the initial statements. Let's use your salary as an example. Using ZKP, you could create a salary range as indirect proof, demonstrating that your salary is within that range, say between 70 and $80,000, without revealing the actual number. Your salary, along with your personal information, is hashed into the indirect proof, which is a form of encryption that makes your data private. This hashed information is then used to verify your salary and your eligibility for the loan without exposing your data to third parties. This is how the indirect proof contains none of the sensitive details, no previous employer, no exact amount of your salary, no ID numbers, no address, yet you can still verify you are who you say you are. We're already starting to see this technology being used. Zcash was the first crypto to employ ZKP in 2016. It became the most used privacy-oriented cryptocurrency built on ZKP ever since. And now banks have also started recognizing its potential. ING launched its zero-knowledge range proof solution in 2017, which allows a blockchain network to validate a secret number is within a certain range without having to disclose this specific number. And it's more than just protecting financial data. Through ZKP, mortgage applicants could prove that they're residents in a country without disclosing the exact address. You could prove ownership, identity, or knowledge of certain information. The possibilities to shield personal data from third parties are truly endless. This could ultimately create more trust in the financial system and transparency around the usage of our private data. It may be too late for our data that is already out there, but technology gives us an opportunity to keep it private in the future.